In a quiet neighborhood of Windsor, Wisconsin, Bart and Krista Halderson lived a seemingly peaceful life with their two sons, Mitchell and Chandler. Bart, a successful accountant, and Krista, a dedicated stay-at-home mom who later became an administrative assistant, had built a loving home for their boys. But beneath the surface, the family's idyllic image would soon unravel in a way no one could have predicted, ending in tragedy. Chandler Halderson, their youngest son, carefully crafted a facade that would eventually lead to devastating consequences. To his family and friends, he was a hard-working student at Madison College pursuing an IT degree. He claimed to be working remotely for an insurance company, and had even boasted about landing a promising job at SpaceX, set to begin in a few months. Chandler painted a picture of a bright future, full of potential. However, trouble began to loom as Chandler's stories started to show cracks. Despite claiming to work full-time, he never seemed to have money to contribute to household expenses. He explained the situation away, saying that his paycheck had been delayed due to a mix-up with his status as an employee and direct deposit details. His parents, Bart and Krista, initially wanted to believe him, but Bart, being an accountant, began to doubt the plausibility of Chandler's explanations. Chandler's lies escalated when he suffered an accident, claiming he had fallen down a flight of stairs. He told his family he had sustained severe injuries, including brain bleeding, spinal damage, and even requiring the use of a colostomy bag. This, he said, forced him to decline the job at SpaceX. But none of this was true. In reality, Chandler had flunked out of college, never held a job with an insurance company, and certainly had no offer from SpaceX. When his parents thought he was studying or working, Chandler was actually at home, playing video games and creating fake email accounts to support his fabricated stories. His so-called injury was also exaggerated. Hospital records showed he had only suffered a mild concussion. The turning point came when Bart decided to confront the truth. He had arranged a meeting with Madison College to discuss Chandler's academic situation, and Chandler knew that his house of lies was about to crumble. Desperate to avoid being caught, Chandler took a dark and irreversible step. On July 2nd, Krista Halderson didn't show up for work, raising concern among her co-workers. Despite multiple attempts to reach her by phone, there was no response. Concerned for her well-being, one of her colleagues decided to visit the Halderson home. When they arrived, Chandler was there and explained that his parents had left the day before to spend the holiday weekend at their cabin in northern Wisconsin. According to Chandler, the cabin had poor cell service, which explained why Krista hadn't replied to her friend's messages. Although it seemed unusual for Krista to miss work without notice, it wasn't entirely out of the ordinary to assume she and Bart were simply enjoying a quiet weekend away. However, the signs of something much darker were slowly emerging. While his parents were supposedly at the cabin, Chandler spent the July 4th weekend with his girlfriend Kat and her family. The couple relaxed by the pool, watched fireworks, and enjoyed the holiday. Kat mentioned how Chandler was using the pool to help recover from his recent injuries. He told her that his parents would return from their trip by Monday night or Tuesday morning. On July 7th, Chandler filed a missing persons report with the Dane County Sheriff's Office. He claimed that a couple had picked his parents up on July 1st to take them to the cabin, leaving both of their vehicles at home. Chandler said he didn't recognize the couple, and now his parents had not returned as expected. While law enforcement launched a search, Chandler went door to door in his neighborhood, asking if anyone had seen anything suspicious. He also showed police a text message allegedly sent by his mother, which confirmed their arrival at the cabin. But when Chandler's brother Mitchell, accompanied by police, drove to the cabin, the scene they found didn't fit Chandler's story. The yard was overgrown, the doors were locked, and there were no signs of recent activity. Bart and Krista were nowhere to be found. Suspicion toward Chandler began to grow. Investigators reviewed home security footage from neighbors and found something that deepened their concerns. There was no evidence Bart and Krista had ever left their house on the day Chandler claimed. Curiously, one video showed flickering light from the Halderson family fireplace on the afternoon of July 2nd. This raised a critical question. Why would someone light a fire in the middle of summer? Authorities began to suspect that Chandler wasn't telling the truth about what happened to his parents. As the investigation intensified, the horrifying reality of what had taken place would soon come to light. Authorities now suspected foul play, and Chandler found himself under increasing scrutiny. His girlfriend, Kat, and her family were initially supportive as Chandler maintained his innocence. But the investigation took a chilling turn when Kat's parents recalled how, days after the holiday weekend, they had seen Chandler emerge from the woods near their property. Chandler had explained that he was just using their pool for leg exercises, but law enforcement decided to search the nearby area. 
What they found was nothing short of horrifying. A male torso, later identified as belonging to Bart Halderson. With mounting evidence, Chandler was arrested on suspicion of providing false information about the disappearance of his parents. But that was only the beginning. Two days after his arrest, forensic testing confirmed that the remains found in the woods were indeed Bart's. Investigators also uncovered a chilling digital trail. Chandler had conducted multiple Google searches in the days leading up to and following the murder, typing phrases like, Wisconsin dismembered body found, and woman's body found in Wisconsin. These searches would later become pivotal in the prosecution's case. The search for Krista Halderson continued, and it was Chandler's girlfriend Kat who unknowingly led investigators to another critical breakthrough. Kat regularly tracked Chandler's location using Snapchat, and she shared a screenshot with police that showed Chandler near the Wisconsin River on July 3rd. Acting on this information, law enforcement scoured the area and eventually found partial remains identified as Krista Halderson. The horrifying truth was now undeniable. Chandler had not only killed his parents, but had also dismembered their bodies and attempted to cover up the crimes by scattering their remains across different locations. As the case progressed to trial in January 2022, all of Chandler's lies came to light. His web of deceit, which had initially been intended to avoid embarrassment over his failures, had spiraled into a series of brutal murders. The prosecution presented overwhelming evidence, including testimony from Chandler's brother Mitchell and his girlfriend Kat. Mitchell revealed that their parents had a life insurance policy worth nearly $1 million, which Chandler stood to benefit from. During the trial, Chandler's defense was minimal. His legal team offered little explanation or rebuttal to the damning evidence, with one cryptic statement from the defense confusing many. What you don't know is evidence, too. In contrast, the prosecution meticulously laid out Chandler's actions, showing how his desperation to maintain his lies had led to the murders of Bart and Krista. The jury didn't need much time to deliberate. After just two hours, they returned with a guilty verdict, convicting Chandler Halderson of two counts of first-degree intentional homicide, along with charges of dismembering a corpse and concealing a body. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole. Even after his conviction, Chandler has maintained his innocence and has claimed he will appeal the decision. However, for the family and friends of Bart and Krista Halderson, the trial brought some measure of closure to an otherwise unthinkable tragedy. Please like and share this video and subscribe to Crime Saga for more videos like this.